Why aren't we allowed to go down there? Because you're not supposed to be down there. Why not? We had orders to keep you out. Any reason? Yes, but we don't want you down there. Why? Why do you want to go down there? Well, Get your mean? nose into something, it's none of your business, and just stay out of it. <laughs> So what am I supposed to do? But you are contributing to a system oh, that I'm is not hurting. contributing to any system, man. Oh, you think so? Just by living here, we are contributing our brain and our, our, our muscles and our breath. We are contributing to the system. This is a part of our life. Yeah. But the thing Absolutely. is, we are dealing with them from a position of weakness. You can't get anything out of the man. You have to show that you, too, can be hateful. He is in jail for committing the crime in white racist America of being black. But even more important, he is in jail because he is revolutionary. Well, I don't know. What do you do? That's the point. Right, what do you I, do? Would, I think it is still possible to work within the establishment. I think yeah. that we can get out, beat the streets. You know, McCarthy, Jeez. nobody said McCarthy had a, McCarthy didn't have a chance. But he got volunteers and people. I'm Chief Beal of the Berkeley Police Department. At five minutes of nine, we declared this to be an unlawful assembly. There is no permit for this meeting. No one ever attempted to obtain one. This is an illegal meeting. Now, you have time to move out of here slowly and in a dignified manner, and there won't be any necessity for a confrontation. But we are going to clean the street. I ask you. If we continue to have everyone like they are right now on the sidewalks, can would you withdraw your police and permit us to finish the rally peacefully? If you do not agree with this, we can only take it that you want a confrontation. Of the Berkeley Police Department, because of the failure of the people in this assembly to disperse as ordered, a chemical agent will be used to clear this area. Condition. We're entering a riot condition. Now I ask the people to avoid, avoid the police. Stand back, get away from them. You feel okay? No. Come on, Rick, man. Put your arm around my neck. You're just a bunch of kids. Do something meaningful. Yeah, yeah. What did the communists do in France when they had their thing? Yeah. Well, you are providing them with an excuse. That's right. Man, forget That's it, man. That's not an excuse, man. That's Who just played this thing? The police played this thing. They're going to do it anyway, sometime. Kill the revolution. What revolution? Don't be silly. God damn it, my, my, my brother got killed, too. Yeah, that's, well, that's all right. I protest like I want to any time I want to. Yeah, Don't tell me not to. They're your streets and mine. They're our streets. I'm with you. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, with I'm you. sorry, man. You know. Yeah, yeah. You see? <laughs> guns, and they're going to have to be prepared to fight. They're going to have to hit light towers. They're going to have to hit, get the water, blow up the Bay Bridge, hit these key centers so that they, they can render the opposition ineffectual. And if they're not going to do that, then this all this is, is worthless. 
I mean, dig it, man. It's still now for people like, you know, the, the white people waking up, you know, to see that, the, you know, that that man who is up, you know, like we down here before then, everybody, you know, the white people thought they were in the middle and the man was up here. Now, see, they done got hit over their head and stuff, and they know that they down here with us, man. They down here right with us. You got to speak until you get tired. When you get tired, you go inside yourself and say, give me some more strength, and you go for what you know. I think life is a matter of attitude. If you want to bring qualitative change here, we have to stop thinking that there is a possibility of dialogue with the man. Unless you show him strength, unless you show him force, it's enough. It's not enough to bring petitions and to prepare yourself by the poll. Because the, the decisions are made in the schools, in the factories, in the streets. We should go back. We should take the streets back and continue our program. Because we want to feel a qualitative change we want to feel that we belong to ourselves. If they want to isolate you from the society, but don't feel isolated from each other. Don't feel isolated from each other. Try to reach and grasp the, the hands that are trying to reach you. The hand of the Vietnamese, the hand of the Latin American revolutionaries. They are trying to grasp you. They are trying to grasp you. And together, and together we shall fight for a new, for a new international brotherhood in freedom and for freedom. What about if we ask all the people that at 10 o'clock we leave Telegraph Avenue, go to the parking lot, and have your permit was at 10. You're a little sound permit. Yeah. Oh sure. Well, why don't we get okay, over there quickly so we can use it? Let's stop the band and ask everybody, and if everybody will agree, and I'll push for it, then we will do it. All right? Now, bear in mind, okay. uh, if I'm Why'd going over there and talk, I'm not yeah. going to uh, have to have people hooting and spitting and, and all that. Yeah, me. Yeah, I yeah. intend no. to be heard, or I'm not. I'm going to walk off. Right now, Mayor, why don't you come with me? Let's walk over there and tell everybody. And then I'm not going to get on the mic there, though. No, no, no. no. Oh, Just come with me, so you're there, and so people they know. See that I'm here. Yes, and they know it's right. I just came down here and hoping there would be a party. I was here last night, but it was a bummer for a party. Okay, well, everybody, please sit down who's within hearing distance so you can hear what we're about to propose, and we can make a decision. The police have blocked off the traffic all the way around us. This is very different from last night, in that if they move this time, they're not moving in from one side, but they move in from all sides on us and then tear gas us. I personally think that we are in a better position if we don't have the, the attack tonight, but simply have made our point... And we'll give the city council a chance Tuesday to give us the street legally, that is, give it to us for July 4th. If they don't give it to us, we'll be back again and again until they give it to us. All right, the, the question is, do we leave at 10 o'clock or do we stay? All those who want to stay past 10 o'clock, raise your hand. All right. We're good and ready. All right, now all those who would prefer to leave at 10 o'clock, raise your hand. We're going to leave when you're ready. People that don't want to stay on the street, go home and play with yourself. The rest of you that want to stay here, let's get together. Back and forth. 
Don't touch. Whatever you do, don't touch. Like about three students, you know, immediately rushed with coats to try and put it out. They started being clubbed. Those cops are so goddamn mad. They're beginning to attack a lot of people. I'm in the bottom of the trench, hiding. They've gone mad. I may get killed, but I'm here. Covering the event. I was driving around the streets with some friends, driving in from San Francisco, and they'd, they'd, they'd sort of blocked off the freeway, and there were these roadblocks all over the, all over Berkeley, man. They were stopping every car, and anyone who looked slightly hip, they'd pull out the car and, and like, search them and put them to a whole lot of changes. And they were beating heads in and around the South Campus area. I stayed clear of the South Campus area for that reason. He said that uh, the atmosphere here was worse last night than in battle. He'd never seen anything as bad. And he'd never seen as much courage, either. They just started beating on everybody. They just flipped out. And nobody could believe what was happening. A policeman would go up and say to someone, you know, instead of saying, just move on, he'd take his club and jab in somebody's stomach and push him on down the street. And this was before the curfew was in effect. For instance, I know some people who were employees in Moe's, they went to leave, right? Because, like, the street was closed. The policemen were, st were up above the Forum in the Mediterranean. What do they do? They start throwing stones and bricks down at the employees as they're leaving. It didn't bother me too much. The only drag about it was the, you know, they were on the street, the pigs, and they were in their cars, and if you were walking around, they'd come zooming down the street, and they'd jump out, like five of them, with their sticks, and they'd start yelling at you and chase you with your sticks, and they might hit you, you know, if you didn't run fast enough. tells us you're the children of the middle class and they all have these different terms to describe us but who are we we are the house slaves of a world system of oppression just like under slavery there was the field slave who did the physical hard work then there was the house slave who was treated a little better who had it nice and what was he used for to police the field slave to be the intelligence against the field slave 
and the psychology that they put into his head of the house slave was that he was part of the master. He wasn't a slave, you see. So that you walk around saying things like our country as at war in Vietnam. You walk around saying, you know, like the house slave, when he saw the master's house on fire, he would say, master, our house is on fire. And one thing that you got to recognize is that what this movement is, is the beginning of a rebellion by the house slave. The field slave is in rebellion everywhere in the world to end this system which allows one man to be able to hire and exploit another man, which permits nations to have armies in order to be able to create the tremendous increase in scientific knowledge into nothing but weapons of destruction. Men, uh, not... Others, others, my friends, others on the other hand say war, they say that war is bad. Bad. Oh, from the German, bad. A oh, bad. <laughs> you see, my friends, the Germans are a clean people and also a very, very friendly people, by the way. And they think that taking baths is a good. Hence, so we derive our word of bad, which we define as the antithesis of a good. <laughs> Neither term, my friends. Bad, good, good, bad, has any scientific meaning. Right here in Berkeley now, it will move, it will spread, because the people who live in Berkeley have friends outside of Berkeley. And they know that there's the people in Berkeley who are groovy people. And they can't understand why those people are put under curfew, why they're tear gassed, and why they're beat with clubs, and why they're holding a rally of this type on Telegraph Avenue today. So it spreads and it spreads, and people will protest the curfew on Berkeley, and the pigs in their local areas will follow orders and suppress them. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I've got to go and face some pigs. We're going to go and face those pigs, but we're not going to face them the way they think. She walked, she took, she crawled in her belly like a human reptile. Hurry, hurry, hurry. The whole hand doesn't work because they just break the chain and reorganize again. That's, 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 it's not constructive. The only thing bad about it, man, is the man's going to use them as a tool to bust more heads than theirs. I, 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 I know it, but the thing is, we got to get as many people off the street. That's the important thing, is to keep people from getting hurt. When the city council told you to, then what you're doing is buckling under to a pack of fascist pigs. Telegraph Avenue is ours, noon to 10 p.m. And that's bullshit! It's ours always! This, the this is breeding nonviolence, man. This is going to put the cops right on you your back. For the ten cops hours, are on you? our back. There are people who need to come in here to pick up the trash with their trucks, and yes, they're yes. helping us do this. Oh, that's terrible. See? That's terrible. Oh, look, I'm not going to tell these, these people to leave. I'm not going to be a cop. We had ten hours on Telegraph. Where are our political demands? How come we got a guy who's up for attempted murder? 
How come we got 200 people busted and heads, and heads, it, and, and heads isn't, busted? Isn't was it worth it for 10 hours? Tell me, was it worth it? Did you press up left here? Words, words, words are very cheap. If there are no deeds, it makes no difference. This is an ugly word, this is an ugly situation, and it's not going to become beautiful by calling each other beautiful. The situation that is in Telegraph is really a, a certain sad uh, truth of a sad nation, a very sad nation, that is thirsty for civil war, but that civil war will not come. Because, first and foremost, the generation, the generation that is between 14 and 25 has no shit to, to, to teach anyone and has a lot to learn. The only hope for Telegraph or any other place is that the Third World Revolution will succeed, that the American uh, aggressive forces here and there are going to be so badly mauled and smashed that people will be faced with sharper decisions at home. Thank <laughs> you.